Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Metroid Prime. It's Prime Time! Uh, last time, we took down the rock monster Thardis, and today, I think we're heading back to Chozo Ruins to grab a few new upgrades with our newly acquired equipment that we just grabbed uh, back at Fendrana. And yes, I am aware it's been another several months since the last upload, and uh, believe me, I, I, I know, I know, uh, work is taking up a big part of my schedule, and now that I've paid, paid off my truck uh, just a few days ago, uh, as of this very recording, I'm basically going into hyper savings mode, like, I haven't even purchased a whole lot of games for this year, all things considered like the only major games that I've purchased are like you know outside of like maybe some one-off like retro games that I've gotten from my local retro store um, here recently like uh, Star Fox Assault for example and Pikmin 1 which I have yet to play a Pikmin game sue me um, that is in the form of Fire Emblem Three Houses and Link's Awakening on the Switch, and, uh, yeah, I, I've just, I don't know what to say, I, I've just been trying to save up money, because I'm trying to, um, move out into a new place here by the end of this year, and, uh, I'm trying to put as much of a focus as I can into work, all of my, uh, marbles into it, rather, as I guess you could say, uh, to make sure everything is going nice and smoothly uh, before I head out of there. So, uh, yeah. I, I won't lie, I was kind of hesitant on recording today, but I decided that, you know what, um, I've been needing a bit more energy in my life, I need to make sure I get my hobbies uh, in check make sure that you know I, I do indeed do more than just work uh, 50 hours a week I need to make sure that I, I can at least try to have fun in between uh, those segments of time where I'm working and not working you know so um, the next upgrade we're gonna be getting is the ice beam and the ice beam is basically one of the things I had alluded to in one of the previous videos where it's mostly just going to be used for accessing white doors and that's about the extent of it but man oh man is it fantastic for combat let me tell you but uh, before we do that um, I actually want to go ahead and stray off the beaten path here for a second to grab uh, another upgrade uh, these are very far and few in between, but um, there are indeed a few upgrades um, where the game does not flat out tell you where they're at. I think they already kind of did this with the charge beam at one point, but uh, yeah, they don't really do this with the other charge combos, and that's because the game actually expects you to like go out of your way and look. And the charge beam combos are in, indeed uh, located in very weird... Um, off the trail locations and we're going to be taking advantage of the tools we have now such as the spider ball uh, to make sure we can access those power-ups as cleanly as we can so um, I did allude to the fact that yeah the super missile is probably the most practical charge combo in the game because you can use it to like um you know you basically like use it to break certain things like this for example and on top of that like it opens certain doors well, i don't think it opens certain doors but you, you, know, you get what i mean it, it's basically like an excuse for the game to basically say hey here's a weapon you can use to access certain areas with have fun and uh the charge beam combos really aren't necessarily needed to beat the game. They're more so used um, for combat purposes, and the Wave Buster here is no exception. Now, onto the topic of the Wave Buster. Um, it isn't super practical, but man, man, oh man, when you land it, 
it is absolutely busted. Um, there is one segment in the game where I will be using it for that very reason, because there's a point in the game where you have to go through a long stretch of, of enemies, and it's ended by an incredibly frustrating mini boss. Anybody who's played this game probably has an idea of what I'm talking about, and I'm going to be using my Wave Buster on that thing, uh, more or less. So, uh, that'll be fun. I'll go more into detail of how you utilize it once you get the upgrade, but for now, we basically want to blow up these things right here. You want to make sure you have plenty of missiles, which makes sense because the Wave Buster burns a ton of missiles, which is why it's not something you want to be going over about using willy-nilly and uh oh god what just hit me i think it might have been that puffer thing so yeah we're blowing up these things all the while dealing with the occasional enemy onslaught that's come to greet us on the way there and uh yeah these things are powerful enough to withstand uh super missile blows so you basically want to make sure like whenever you're using yeah like that whenever you're using the super missile you want to make sure you land it on the target. And I hope that's the last one, because I've only got room for one more super missile to deploy. So, let's come up here. And here we are, Wave Buster! This charge beam combo is all kinds of fucking retarded. Holy crap. Oh my god. It's like, if you know how to utilize it um, correctly, it is absolutely broken. But you have to make sure you have plenty of missiles. Like, you're not going to be using this in any minimalist run. And I think the the way up to the top of the tower should have told you that by now. Uh, but, yeah, basically, you, you have to use the wave beam instead of the power beam to utilize it. And you have to have at least... Uh, let's... Oh, I just skip right past it. Can I, like, not skip it? Okay. It costs 10 missiles to activate, and then 5 missiles per second afterward. So, yeah, this thing just flows through your missiles like it ain't no thing. And it's definitely something you need to make sure you absolutely know that if you're going to use it, you better know to use it right there and then. It's not something you can just take out like the power beam and just fire it willy-nilly. But man, when you land it on a boss or whatever, it's just... It's dumb. I'm hoping we can get a few missiles here from these enemies. No, they're just gonna give me energy drops. That's bizarre. I guess they're not coded to drop missiles, but whatever. All right, so now we can go and get the ice beam. But first, <laughs> I'm just holding off the suspense, aren't I? We're going to blow up that thing. And then, I think, yeah, so we're going to come up from there. Use this. Grab that missile. Man, we just got a lot of missiles here just waiting for us to grab, huh? We're probably going to be doing a big uh, missile uh, expansion scavenger hunt here um, as we do this as well. Because, like, we have so much equipment on hand now that, like, we can traverse, like, 90% of Chozo Ruins, if not 95% of it. The only exception being, like, little minor rooms uh, that are served for endgame purposes and endgame purposes only. When we get to that point, you'll know what I mean. So, I think we ought to remember how to use the map function here correctly. Okay, so we can actually come up through here and grab something. Yeah, that's just kind of dependent on how many missiles we get on the way, though. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Yeah, we have super missiles. We have the spider ball. We might as well go ahead and do it. Let's just kind of turn this video into one big Chozo Ruins expedition hunt. Because I really do feel like cleaning out this place to make sure that, you know, as I'm going through it later on, I don't feel like I have to do, 
uh, to go through and backtrack too much. It's always helpful uh, to do in terms of like making sure you get all the upgrades and items efficiently as possible. That probably wasn't grammatically correct, but whatever. And I'm not getting any missiles. What the heck? Uh, okay. That was a lot of shriek bats. <laughs> okay. So I didn't get anything there. I'm, I'm hoping, like, right before that one room, I could probably grab a few extra missiles from there. Because I really need them. That's not what I needed. But, whatever. I'm getting everything but what I need. Oh my god. You ever get that feeling too? Like, you're trying to hunt for something and then you end up getting, like, something that you probably could have needed earlier, but you're getting it now and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> that's, the ex that's the kind of feeling I'm eliciting right now. Okay, so, yeah, technically I have enough missiles to show off the Wave Buster now. But because I'm wanting to save these super missiles for something very important here in a bit, uh, I'm going to try to hold out on that and use those missiles specifically for that purpose. You know, I could cut out some of this backtracking, but like, you, then you wouldn't get to listen to my lovely voice as I'm doing so. Well, that, and I guess it's just because I have a whole lot to say. So... Okay, first, I'm gonna need you guys to just disappear from existence, because that would be all kinds of nice. Because you guys are nothing but a hindrance. Oh, and some new Chozo lore. Better be sure to grab that real quick. I'm pretty sure I remember, like, coming in this room at one point and then absolutely forgetting about that, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> I, I, I probably face bombed really hard at that point in time, too. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. If that isn't foreshadowing to what we're about to run into within the next three rooms, I, I don't know what is. Man, that is depressing. Holy shit. And I guess we should go ahead and scan this, because that is a research entry that we can put into our logbook. Man, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, I'm so bad at, you know, keeping these things in mind. Because, like, I know I did the same thing in the last part, where I just completely forgot about the fucking ship that we came onto the planet in, and I'm like, wow, what are the odds? <laughs> so yeah, just another room where we need to activate um, runic symbols, nothing special. Except the location of these things are a lot closer apart than you'd think. They're just in pretty odd locations to make up for that, such as right there. So yeah, even though they're pretty close by, they hide them pretty decently well, uh, surprisingly enough. Okay. So that leaves just one more. Probably, yep, yeah, right there. Alright, so we're just gonna take a detour right back to one of the earlier boss rooms here real quick. Uh, it was the thing, the room where we fl Flagra in, but ever since we beat Flagra, the original entrance of which we used to get into the room to begin with, they actually barricaded that off, but there's another way you can get in there, and there's a pretty good reason why uh, we'll want to be revisiting that room here in a bit, so just gotta avoid these things and uh, come up here. 
You might have actually remembered this route um, coming back from the fight. So, that's convenient, I suppose. Can we get some missiles? Oh, we got a few. Not bad, not bad. We're definitely going to be needing them in a bit. Because one big, huge ass annoyance uh, lies in wait for us uh, within the next room here. And that, my friends, are these entities. So every time you come into a room with these little pests, uh, these are the Chozo Ghosts. Um, in my opinion, the most annoying enemy and well, not quite. I'd say for me personally, this is the second most annoying enemy to me in the entirety of Metroid Prime. Fuck these things. So every time you run into a room with these, like they have a chance of locking up the doors and you can't leave until you fight them. But sometimes like the game might be generous enough to like leave the doors open. And you, you can just kind of ignore them outright. So what makes them really annoying is that these guys are really tanky uh, they move however they want, and you can only use, uh, the power beam and super missiles on these guys. So, like, even once we get the ice beam and the last beam in the game, like, we can't use them to just burn through these guys, and it's really aggravating. On top of that, um, this fight is going to be a lot slower simply because we don't have the fourth visor. So, uh, shooting these guys down, uh, will take a lot longer than it normally would have we provided the last Pfizer in the game. So, yeah, basically you gotta play the waiting game and especially in hard mode where enemies are tankier than usual. Ooh, don't let them hit D with that. Because that'll render your targeting systems useless. Like that! At least for a short while. And yeah, because there's three of these guys, it's like really hard to like make sure your awareness is on point fighting these assholes. I mean, I guess it makes sense that these guys are tanky if provided that, you know, these are the same like entity of like aliens that happened to build the Chozo um, suit that Samus is wearing. So I imagine like they might have been like, oh, let's make other like species just as bulky as we are. And then they built the power suit because I mean, I mean, that's the only logical explanation because these guys are annoyingly bulky as hell. And it's like, ah, ah. And yeah, I'm trying to be as conservative as I can with my super missiles because these guys move really, 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 really fast. And I want to make sure I land whatever it is I'm trying to land on them before they go away. Now, granted, if I had the other visor on hand, uh, I'd probably be a little bit more confident in using the super missiles to wipe them out. Or if I had better reaction time, but... You can only ask for so much out of it. <laughs> Ow. Ah! These guys just move wherever they want. Okay, he's dead, so that means there should be one more left. Right, at least that one dropped a missile. Oh, I thought he disappeared right there for a second. Yeah, these are the kind of things where they're definitely going to kick your shit in the first few times you fight them. But once you have like some kind of lockdown under pattern, then they're not too bad to fight. It's just it's just a it's an endurance test basically. It, they just take way too long to kill, and you fight them qu 
quite frequently too, especially in Jozo Ruins. So, yeah. All right, so that's our third artifact, I think. What? Which one is that? Oh wow, I think that was the older one, huh? No. Yeah, that was the artifact of Wild, the fourth one. Let's go. Let's go, us. All right, so now we need to head back, and then I'm probably gonna do some more uh, missile scavenging before we uh, head over to the ice beam. I'm probably gonna make this an, an extended video too, just to make up for how long I've been gone. And yeah, 39 missiles, I know, but I still want a few extra uh, more just to be sure I have enough left over once I show off the Wave Buster because it's so cool, flashy, awesome. Plus, I feel like I, I kind of want to land it on an enemy now just to see, like, how busted it is. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so we definitely need to turn back here. And uh, maybe position our morph ball into the hole better. That'd be nice too. Okay, just moving along. Oh my god, my boost ball just killed that beetle. That poor thing. <laughs> I forgot how powerful the boost ball is, too. Holy crap. Um, oh. So, I I'm trying to remember if I got the what's it, the missile tank that I had sitting in the tree. I think I did, didn't I? I gotta open it all over again. Yeah, I did. I don't know why the thing respawned, though. That totally isn't misleading in any way, shape, or form. So, now that we have our business done on that end of the spectrum, we're going to go ahead and head over here. Alright, and I'm just going to boost ball my way through all of this. Ignore everything. Fight the power. Oh yeah, there's another missile tank in here too. Shoot. Holy crap. I'm just now remembering these things. Oh wow. That was not the interaction I thought was going to happen. <laughs> I wonder if it was the water like fume that killed him and not the, the bomb. Alright, there we go. Another missile for our repertoire. Alright, so that's that. I'm gonna head in here. Y'all can go away. And we're probably gonna ignore this room for right now, too. I don't think there's anything else we can do in here, uh, provided that we haven't already done. So, yeah, probably don't have to worry about that room anymore. And, uh, alright, so first uh, order of business here is to go back to one of the earlier rooms that we went through earlier and uh, this happens to be where the charge beam was at now there was one specific room I went into that I was able to grab a missile expansion from but there's actually another thing you can grab in there too provided you have the spider ball um, maybe I should come back in here when I have the gravity suit I'm not sure yet. Let's 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 go through this and find out first. So you want to go back in here, and then ah, oh, no, just a empty hallway. And I think okay, that was where the other missile expansion was. The one we're looking for is on top of here. Wow, that bug did a poor job at guarding this thing. Like, we still got hit by it, and we managed to, like, stay on the 
spider ball thing as we were doing so that's kind of sad actually so you know what I think it's time I think it is absolutely time to go ahead and show off the wave buster and we're gonna use it on these things actually so charge up hold Y that was not the result I was hoping for. So basically, it's like a flamethrower-esque weapon that you use the lock on to enemies with. And you just hold the Y button for as long as you can. And it continually drains, like, the enemy's HP. And provided that you have enough missiles, it can absolutely mop the floor with a lot of them. And it's absolutely satisfying to see the results, uh, you know, stem from that. So, all right, so now that we have that missile expansion, okay, cool. So we can come down here. Do we need the gravity suit though? Uh, fuck. Yes, we do. Damn it. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. Okay, so we'll definitely have to make room note of that room later on and that's okay because uh, I need that and the grapple beam uh, if I'm going to make sure I get all the other upgrades in this area as well. I'm just going to go ahead and try to get what I can for right now. And, uh, provided if I can remember everything I got to the best of my memory, because this playthrough has been going on for way too long, uh, then we can definitely do that. So, yeah. Yeah, if this, if this video ends up being 40 minutes long, I'm not going to be surprised. I, I'm just going to roll with it for right now because, like, man, I really need to do a better job at staying on top of things. Ah, uh, that was not what I thought they were going to do. I thought they were just going to ignore me if I came close enough, but no. Nope. No. Okay, cool. So what do I blow this up with? I, I honestly don't even remember. Oh, wow. We don't even need a whole lot to break it open. Okay. Wow, I completely forgot about this expansion. That's why we check things, folks. Because, man, I could have just walked right by that and completely forgot about it. <laughs> oh, boy. Man. Okay, so now to make an actual move on. So, where I want to go is over in this direction. And, yeah, it's backtracking through some earlier rooms, sure, but uh, once you see the end result of it, it'll start making more sense. And, uh... Okay. Alright, so I think we're going through this door, right? Yeah, we are. Awesome. I don't know why I jumped back down there. I, for some reason, I thought where we were going was down there. And I was like, derp, that's where the fucking charge beam is, you don't. Pay more attention to these Shriek Bats. Though, I guess I can afford to play recklessly at this point because I have a lot of energy tanks and on top of that, like... Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess, like, the further you go, like, unless you're fighting bosses or mini-bosses, like, the whole idea of it being hard mode uh, won't matter too, too much dealing with enemies, but, like... Then you get to a certain part of the game where you're fighting nothing but enemies up until... A certain upgrade and then it's like oh I guess it does matter but we'll get to that point eventually you guys need to go away no one likes you all right so what can we break this open with bendesium okay so we need power bombs for this Good to know. 
So, ooh. Let's go, Chozo Lore. Oh, so they can still make these things as they're ghosts. That's kind of interesting. So it, that kind of means that they have some bit of sanity left in them as they're doing these entries. You know, like, even as ghosts. Like, they have some form of, like, you know, reconciliation of things going on rather than just mindlessly blowing up the first thing they see in sight. Oh, man. So I guess even a ghost can die. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. It kind of reminds me of, like, Final Fantasy X and how, like, even after somebody dies, like, they they can still walk around, like, like, it, it ain't no thing unless, like, you send them to the great beyond. And that's kind of, like, a, a really fucked up way of treating the afterlife. But, like, I don't know. That, that kind of stuff interests... That kind of stuff always interests me for some reason. Like, seeing a game's take on the afterlife and seeing, like, where they can fit the overall theme and tone the game and with it, you know? Granted, it's not, a, like, it's not like a huge focus in Prime, but it's, like, it's nice to see that there are parts of the game that kind of acknowledge that. So that way you're seeing this and, it may, and you're like, oh, wow, that makes total sense. Uh, so... Okay. I was like, am I going the right way? <laughs> uh, I think so. Yeah, we are. Okay, so. I'm gonna come up here real quick. Ooh. Lots of Chozo lore. Holy crap. Ooh. Now that, my friends, is some tasty shit. Scan that real quick. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and scan all of this real quick. Eat up all of that information. Coming up the worm. Ooh. So it looks like some great entity also came along with this great poison too. Meaning it's not just the Phazon that's fucking things up here. Hmm. So once again, these people definitely know or have a semblance of an idea of who's probably going to be saving them from all of this. Granted, we're a bit late, but, you know. We see her wounded eyes and remember the child we found so long ago. That's kind of cool, actually. Like, cause, like, this is kind of, like, delving into, like, Samus's character a little bit without actually, like, you know, like, trying to, like, spoon-feed it to you. This is probably referring to the Space Pirates. Okay, so the cipher is referring to the artifacts. Okay. Yeah, that sucks, man. Like, these guys are like, oh, <laughs> we're going to come down here and do as we please. And then they're like, well, we could do something, but we're kind of horribly outmatched. Rep. So, yeah, now that we have that opened up, we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with that provided that we now have the boost ball and I can do this correctly ba -da -da -bum -bum.
Oh, wow. That was a lot cleaner than the last time I tried to do that. <clears throat> I don't even know that why that was timed when it was right there, but whatever. Okay, so there's a missile. Nice. And then is there something else over here? No? Huh. No. There isn't anything else. Okay. Oof. Alright. So we're, we're definitely approaching our destination here in a bit. Uh, it's just taking a lot longer than I thought it would to do so. Is there something else over here too? Okay. I thought that was more lore. The digest over there, but apparently not. And, oh, I remember this room. Fuck. I remember there's actually one expansion in here where you wouldn't think twice about this hallway in particular, but there is definitely something hiding here. And I, I feel like in almost every playthrough I have of this game, I always end up missing it. I don't know why. And it's like, ah! So... Yeah, it's definitely over here somewhere. And I'm not leaving this room until I do it. Yet here I am forgetting about it now. God. Uh. Of course, I, c I could probably be thinking about another room. Hold on. I know there's another room like this. Yeah, no, I know. I I think I'm thinking about this one. Shoot. Yeah, cause I, yeah, it, it's gotta be this one. Otherwise, I feel like I would have like ran into something that I could have scanned, or had some semblance of an idea of like a potential upgrade by now, or expansion, whatever. Uh. All right, so yeah, we'll just ditch that room for now, and if for whatever off begone reason, like. I end up forgetting something in there, then I'll be sure to look it up later. Alright, where are you at? I think this is the room where you were meant to find your first Trozo ghost, but we ended up, like, finding the other ones a little bit earlier than the game intended for us to. I wouldn't really call it sequence breaking, neither. I, I'd, I'd say it was more like an attention to detail, but you know. Well, at least that guy gave us all of the t chances in the world to hit him with a super missile. Instead of constantly moving around like a dickhole. I wonder if that's what a speedrun ends up being like. Like, I wonder, like, if they are fighting the Chozo Ghosts. Like, do they have to, like, account for the fact that they have to rely on their pattern RNG to make sure, like, they always go into that formation so they can shoot them with a super missile? Is that how it works? So it looks like some of the Chozo from Zebes definitely were here. Oh wow. So all of this Chozo lore that they've laid about in this area, they were all meant for us. Huh. I love how much more hopeful like all of these messages are getting like like if you scan these things in the right order it, it definitely starts off as like very hum humble and peaceful and then like it starts turning into hopelessness like once that they start talking about the great poison and then it starts turning into like optimism as they look towards like the potential savior when all thing everything seems 
near about lost. I love that, man. It's like a first, second, and third act, like, happening all at once. Like, depending on the order you read, like, all of the Chozo lore. And, man, that's a damn good storytelling, son. <laughs> Like, no matter how shitty all of this looks, you know, like, they definitely have, like, all of their hopes and dreams pinned on Samus alone. Like, even, and, but, like, they're still, it's not like they're, like, succumbing to the fact that maybe, potentially, like, we're not going to be able to, like, do anything to fend off, like, this terror. We're going to do as much as we can to not only, like, protect ourselves, to, but to make sure... Like, whoever comes to save us eventually has all the tools they need to combat this. Because they know they're outmatched. Alright, so... I think we'll be coming back into this room later once we get the ice beam, but for now we need to track forward because we are burning a lot of time and more time means more money. I, well, not money, but uh, more time I have to burn uh, editing these videos and that's never fun. Actually, wait, speaking of fun. That's gonna save us a lot of trouble. <laughs> I had to make sure to do that first before leaving. All right. So is this something we can blow up with bombs? Yup, it is. Nice. So, simple half pipe puzzle. Nothing less, nothing more. Just gotta make sure we don't run into these stun stone toads as we do so. Oh my God, there was one raiding right up there. Holy shit. That's how you design a threatening puzzle around them. <laughs> Otherwise, how else are you going to run into them? <laughs> Alright, and there's our ice beam. And the ice beam is pretty damn good. For combat, anyway. Because, man, the puzzle-solving applications feel like they were there. It's just the game decided, oh, nope, we're just going to use it to open doors. and Doors only. Nothing more. <laughs> Uh, so, we've definitely come to a bit of an impasse here. So, the first thing I want to do before we do anything else is come to the save room. But not without checking to see if there's anything back here. Okay, so that is an elevator that we'll check out later. There's actually two elevators um, nearby that we can check out, but um, I, I definitely want to make some last minute um, regional scans here before I leave the area and take off for the elevators. Uh, I know there was a missile recharge station here nearby. I want to make sure I run into it because those things aren't as ubiquitous as they should be in the game but uh, they do count as a separate research entry and I want to make sure that you know I add that to my logbook okay so it's definitely not in here this room doesn't really serve much purpose but the house an upgrade cool cool that's fine I don't care where's my missile station <laughs> um well I certainly didn't mean to do that Oh god. Hmm. I, I just feel like there's gotta be a missile recharge station here. Unless my mind is just going absolutely crazy. Yeah, not in here either. Yeah, I guess we're just not gonna worry about that for right now. It's not like it's needed for 100% completion anyway outside of scanning it. So, we're just gonna take this door right here. And... 
yeah, let's end off the video. So, next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime for the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, we're going to scout out uh, just a little bit more of Chozo Ruins and see where to go from there. So, see you guys then.